Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today I am showing you my morning skincare. I'm super excited to film this video actually because I've been wanting to do this. If you don't know, I have been struggling with some hormonal acne, especially on my jawline. Um, around August, I went off my birth control and it is starting to affect me. I am kind of getting over the hill from it, but it really affected my face and I was not used to it. I've never had that many breakouts or that much acne and so it was very difficult for me and it was a very long journey from August until now, but it is finally clearing up and I am so excited to share my skincare routine. Many of y'all know that I am a beauty guide with Lime Life by Alcone and these are all the products that I use from them personally. I will link my website down below. So if you would like for me to personalize your skincare routine, I can certainly do that. I absolutely love doing that. I will leave my quiz down below and you can take that. It will put in an email and then I can send an email back to you of what I think will work best for you. Also, I will be doing a nighttime skincare routine because I do certain things differently from night until my morning routine. So I will have that up as well. So I just got done working out. That is one of the main reasons why I wanted to film this morning. I am super sweaty. I just got out of the shower and I haven't done my hair or anything but my face needs to be washed after that sweaty 15 minute fat burner workout so I am going to wash my face and show y'all all the products that I put on also I know people will ask if you want the link to this robe I absolutely love this robe it is from Soma and I love it it is so soft so i will link that down below when i bought it it was on sale so i don't know if it will be on sale but i will link that down below and i will link my headband below this is from ulta okay going in first i am gonna go in with a bar soap and then i will go in with my cleanser i only do this in the morning as of right now sometimes i do it at night but i just do it in the morning because i don't try to overdo it so this is our grapefruit soap this is a vegan soap it can also be used on the body um but i use it on my face because it really helps with blemishes and obviously with my hormonal acne that is what i am needing so badly right now so i have just been going over my face a little bit with this grapefruit soap and then i go in with my cleanser i have noticed that it has been really helping with overall my skin complexion and the blemishes on my face. Okay, next we are gonna go in with my cleanser. This is our Dream Clean Cleanser. This is more for normal to oily skin. And then we also have one called Quench Cleanse for dry skin. I do use Quench Cleanse um, quite a bit during the winter because I am more dry in the winter. Um, and then this one more in the summer, but I have been using this and it, it still does um, a great job and what I need it to do. One thing that I really love about this cleanser is that it sets up perfectly. It's not too over the top, but it's enough and it feels really, really nice on the skin. So I wanted to add that our skincare in our makeup, but since I'm talking about skincare, our skincare is natural and that's something that I really look for. That's one of the reasons why I um, love Lime Life and I joined to be a beauty guide as well because I have been probably for a year and a half, two years now, I've been really on a kick of natural. I am trying to um, switch everything to natural. I even have my cleaning products natural and I really watch what I use on Jack and myself. And so knowing that these products are safe and natural I know that putting on my skin, um, that they just do so much better and they're better for my skin. 
I also have been using my vanity planet. I got one for me and then I had to get Austin one because he was using this one. Um, I absolutely love this. It gets the job done. I love the silicone head because it doesn't harbor bacteria. So I just put one pump on this and then I will spend about a minute or two um, going around my face with it. it feels so good I also wanted to show y'all what my hormonal acne looks like right now this is what it looks like and there's my chin I just wanted to show y'all kind of what I am dealing with it has been worse I will say that especially on my chin it is getting so much better especially using that grapefruit soap but I feel like I'm kind of at a point where it's starting to get better and it looks so much better. Okay, so now we are gonna go in, after I've washed my face, I'm gonna go in with my serums. So just a tip, serums, do that first, and then your oils, and then your moisturizer. That really gets those serums and those oils to really get inside those pores and sit on your face and really just get down in your face, um, which is where you need them to be. Um, so I always put my serum on first, and then I do my oil and then my moisturizer. So I'm gonna kind of go over what serum I use. Um, this is the Sotox one. I love this one. Um, this one basically is called Botox in a bottle, and I will say that is so true. I have personally seen so many results on other women um, that they had fine line and wrinkles up on their forehead, kind of on their um, smile line cheek, and it has really calmed it and really makes it look a lot better. Um, so I have been using this. I will put a disclaimer, I don't use this every single day just because I don't like to put a lot of product on my face. I feel that the more that I put on my face, sometimes it makes it worse. And so that's what I've been really trying to focus on um, with my hormonal acne is making sure that I put less because sometimes less does a lot more than more product. So now I'm gonna go in with my serum. I just do one little pump. And I only put Sotox down right here and then on my forehead and my neck. I do not put it around my eye area. The only thing that I do um, with my eyes are eye serum, but I do that at night so y'all will see that. But I do not put any other products around my eye um, because that is not good. Your eye is a very delicate place. So I, and my eyes are very delicate. So I really try to focus a lot of my serums and oils more on my lower part of the face and my forehead. I do also keep my, all my skincare except my cleansers and my, one of my oils. I keep everything else in my little mini fridge. I do have a live about that on my Facebook, but I got a little mini skincare a fridge for my mom for my birthday and I absolutely love it it's in my office but my serums I definitely keep those in there because it feels amazing on your skin when it's cold um, and they last longer so normally I would put my oil this particular oil with my moisturizer and put it on my face but for the sake of this video I kind of want to go serum oil and moisturizer just to show y'all because at night I do use another oil besides this one 
but this one is our one drop wonder it is our pomavera oil and it only has that one ingredient this stuff is amazing it has so many benefits to it that it is incredible so i have actually used this on my stretch marks as well and it's helping so much but i've been using this on my face to he help heal my acne scars because i have been getting some just from my hormonal acne they're not bad but they are there and so i am using our one drop wonder um in the mornings to really help with that and then also it sits beautifully on the skin before my foundation okay so it has like a little dropper so I just get the dropper. If I'm putting it in my moisturizer, I usually do one, but for, since I'm doing it by itself, I'm gonna do two. You do not need a lot of this. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a lot, so you don't need a lot, if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> but I always pat my serums and my oils, I always pat them on my face to really, really get them down in there. And like I said, I don't put any of this around my eye area. I really avoid my eye area. And then I always put it on my neck and I go up. I always rub up. You, When you're doing this, you want to go up. Okay, so now we are going to move in to the moisturizer. I absolutely love talking about our moisturizer because it's probably one of the best ones that I have ever used and I have found. I struggled for a while trying to find one because a lot broke me out. And this one in particular does not and it feels amazing on the skin. So this is our Skin Therapy Moisturizer. It is pomegranate and oat. This is for normal to dry, but I will say you can use it on any skin type. I love it. Like I said, I am a combo and it doesn't make me any more oily. But if you're super dry, this will help so much. It has helped me so much, especially during the winter. Winters, I'm more dry and then summer, I am more oily. Um, so I just do one pump and like I said, I leave this in the mini fridge and it feels so good because it is cold. I'm just going to rub that. As you can see, I kind of took a little bit of time um, to let my serum and my oil really sink in before I started my moisturizer. And I always like to do that um, because I like to get them in before. So last but not least, I wanted to share something that I do at night and morning. Um, this is probably one of the most effective things that I have found that has helped with my hormonal acne besides my products. But I have found this, pro this particular product and I absolutely love it. So this one is from Target and it is a ice roller. So I was using the jade roller before this and I felt like it wasn't doing as much. When I switched over to this, I feel like it's doing a lot more. So I keep it in my fridge and I just roll. And I do this every night. I have found that this has helped with my inflammation, with my hormonal acne. Um, I've, I can tell that I've had so much inflammation, inflammation um, especially on my uh, jawline, and it has really been hurting me. And so when I do this at night, after I have put my oils on, and then in the morning after I've put everything on um, it feels so good and it really just stimulates my face and gets it going for the day hey y'all that is going to be it for today's video I am so excited that I got to share my skincare routine with y'all because this is one of my favorite things about my morning and night when I became a mom I struggled a lot doing things for myself and taking time for myself and I feel like your skincare routine really helps you kind of calm down and really relax it helps me at night especially but in the morning it really kind of sets me up to have a great day because I did something for myself starting off and I took care of myself before um getting jack and that really helps me because it kind of sets me up for a good day. As mamas we have to 
do stuff for us and we have to take care of ourselves for our babies. Um, I love when someone gave me that advice that I've got to take care of myself too and that's something that I've really been trying this past year um, is to do stuff for myself and take care of myself because if I don't then I am no good to my baby. So I can see Jack. <laughs> He's already up and I'm gonna go get him. We're gonna go eat some breakfast but I am so happy that y'all saw this video. Like I said if you have any questions I will leave my email down below but I will also leave all my website to get skincare quiz or you can simply shop my website if you know particularly what you want. But other than that, I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all later. Bye!